Welcome, I'm BJ Arnett and this is BJA Today. The sounds that you are hearing are because we're at ICFF. This is a moment that you have to get. When you are producing, directing, and acting, you gotta go somewhere to connect with others of that same field. This is the place to be, ICFF. And with me right now to discuss all the parts and pieces of filmmaking, and content providing and being able to tell a story is a woman who I've been seeing telling stories for many, <laughs> many years, Nancy Stafford. Thank you so much for being oh, here. Thank you, BJ. I love being with you, sweetheart. I, you, you. you are just so special to me. Aww. When I first saw you on television, mm -hmm. you know how you, you see somebody and you know that's a household name in the making right there. <laughs> and that's what it was. I was uh -huh. like, okay, I like her and I'm just gonna watch whatever she does. <laughs> and really, everything that I had an opportunity to see you do, I wanted to see, and I did. Appreciate that. You're never gonna become Miss Deep South moving like that. Like what? Like a man. Oh, didn't anyone ever teach you the proper way to walk? There is an authenticity about how you approach a character. Acting is not always done seamlessly. Mm -mm. But you actually do it <laughs> seamlessly. Like, I believe you with every woman that you play. I believe you are her. Oh, so that I appreciate. You. Well, that's a huge compliment. And that's kind of the goal. So thank you very much for that. How have you been able to come through an industry that rarely puts women where they are called to be, mm -hmm. rarely understands the backstory of who we are as women, mm -hmm. and certainly misses the fact that we're Christ first. Yeah. How have you been able to navigate? Well, it's, it's been tough at times. I've, I just was adding up the years. I am 40 years now. In, in this film, I know. And in the me secular media. Yeah. And first of all, I am blessed beyond belief that God has entrusted a career to me and allowed me to navigate from being an ingenue to being a young mom and then being, you know, a single professional woman. And now I'm mom and grandma. And, and have <laughs> handled it beautifully all the way through. Mm -hmm. And that's the backstory that I want to talk about. Okay. Because so many women are, are reach a point in their lives and they're saying, that sound, I want to do that. I want to be that. I, and are afraid to step out on faith and do that. Yeah. But you've been able to transcend time. <laughs> this is not an industry that likes us in that manner. No, it doesn't like women who have time passages. Exactly, <laughs> they really don't. But there's something about you. You are timeless, you're a classic beauty. And I'm yeah. not just saying it because I like you, but I do like her. <laughs> but you're a classic beauty, but you've always been gracious. Your characters that you choose to do have always been seamless. Is that something that was in the forefront of your mind? Uh, yes, and I also think you know, in the casting process, people cast some actors because of what they portray, mm -hmm. what, what they exude. Mm -hmm. And I, I am blessed that I guess I just have always sort of been more mature than I, my age. Mm -hmm. and, and I've made a conscious effort. Uh, I learned this from Andy Griffith on Matlock. Come on now. <laughs> he cared about every detail of that show. Mm -hmm. And not only as a good actor, showed. it did show. Mm -hmm. He was vehemently protective of his character of Ben Matlock. Mm -hmm. And he wanted him to always be a man who exhibited righteousness, who always, you know, did not allow for um, the villain to get away with it. There's something I want you to find out about him. How much he charges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I recommend bail not exceed $100,000. I tend to agree, Mr. Gaddis. He's good. Your dress is funny. So I kind of, I guess my whole career, I've really loved women that were strong and soft. At the same time. At the time. same time. Could be feminine and not in your face, kind of competing with men, but understood the complementary um, 
partnership. We're both married. Yeah. And we're both married to creatives. Yeah. And men of God. I love that. Yeah. But the, here's what's so interesting to me is that my husband has never told me not to go. He's always the one saying, go. Mine too. And that, Do they call each other? I'm, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, they, you know, they're separated at birth or something. Yeah. But it's, it's having that support system yes. that makes it all also work. Absolutely. Because you have stepped from in front of the camera to behind the camera, yeah. to back in front of the camera, to yeah. behind the camera. I know, it's You're been going fun. back and forth to yeah. be able to do all these things. And you know, Proverbs 31 would say, you are able to do all of those things. Yeah, but as women, sometimes we are quick to say, I can't. Yes, self-sabotage. That's right, and mm -hmm. we tend to do that. Yeah. Men, on the other hand, fortunately for them, they're the first to jump up and so I can do I that. I can do it. But we tend to say, I can't. Mm -hmm. But here's what I've learned. Now, as a director, I've directed my first feature film. I'm producing now. So yes, in front and behind, I love them both. But I've learned something. And that is that we know more than we think we do as women, as everyone. But we, especially as women who first want to negate the God-given. Yes. That's right. <laughs> and every single one of our experiences, whether you're an actor or a host or a mom or an attorney or an academic, mm -hmm. every one of our experiences informs us. And every relationship we have and every um, challenge we have mm -hmm. are all the things that mix up to make us be able to do the thing that God has set before us to do. Yes. And so in my career, I never... God knew me enough to know that when I first started, he had to open the doors and kick me through them. So I had a big start because I was not ambitious. This was the- It, wasn't, it no. wasn't a part of you. I, no, I was in another business. I was a writer. I was in journalism. This was my second <laughs> career. But he worked things out, pushed me that, there. And since then, he's the one who's had to say through my husband and through Cammie for you, Yes. Um, Nancy, go for it. You That's can it. do this, Nancy. You can do this. That's it. My first response, and I'm being really cr candid here, but my first reaction to most things I'm asked to do, is like, no. can you come and direct this feature film with us, is go, oh, no, you know, there's better directors. So we, at least I, have tended to say no, but Larry and Cammie for you are yes. the guys that are Who saying, say yes, do you this. can do it. Yes. And afford us the freedom and generosity to be to able be to able say, to you know, honey, go do your thing. Yeah. You know, people asked, uh, how do you continue to do these big things? Mm. We serve a big God. We do. And we are super blessed to have these big guys behind us. We sure are. <laughs> We're super blessed. And the, I, and the last quick thing, the, the whisper of God to me throughout the years has been, it's not over. It's not over. No and way. He's been saying that. It's not, certainly not over so, because you no. just produced, directed this amazing piece that is about to hit 300 theaters. Uh, actually, I'm starring in that one, co starring. Co starring. This is called Paul's Promise. I did not direct that one, okay. but it's a fabulous movie. So 300 theaters, yeah, coming in the fall. I love the backstory on that. I can't yes. wait to see it. It's a powerful movie. I think it's going to touch a lot of lives. And the one I directed is called Damaged Goods. There you go. Another powerful one that is very difficult subject matter, an important story, and that's going to touch a lot. The reason that you are so important to be here at ICFF is you come with a truckload of truth hmm. and a truckload of experience. I we just thank you. That. You do, you, you really do from in front to behind the camera. Mm. Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you, BJ, I love I, you. I love you too, and I'm just so appreciative of you. You have been someone that I've always loved watching. Thank you. Seamless beauty, seamless beauty and a, in you. front of the camera and behind. You guys, if you are out there saying to yourself, I don't know if at this point in my life I can, mm -hmm. guess what? You're built to be able to take that sound and move it. You're built to be able to step in front of the camera. You're built to be able to write the script. You're built to be able to do it. But guess what? You're also called. Step into your calling, stand on faith, and just do it. Someone else is watching, and they need you to demonstrate it for them. Mm. God bless you. Thanks for being here.